At the top for us tonight, a revelation coming out of the district attorney's office involving an allegation that district judge Ina Klein, along with staff members, watched secret jury deliberations in the Derek Barra murder case last week. Now, they weren't alone as the attorneys for the defense and prosecution were also said to be watching. Our Michael Gibson, Gibson joins us now with this unbelievable story tonight. You know, jury deliberations are supposed to be secret and no one's ever supposed to be in the room when juries are deliberating. But in this case, the Nueces County Assistant District Attorney isn't claiming that anyone was in the room with jury members in that Derek Pata case, but instead they were watching through the judge's courtroom video camera. They're supposed to be free to honestly and openly deliberate, to communicate, to vote without fear that they're being spied on or watched or listened to. That did not happen in this case. Nueces County Assistant District Attorney Angelica Hernandez is claiming that last week in the 214th District Court, jury members were secretly spied on as they deliberated the Derek Potta murder case. Judge Ina Klein, along with her staff, are being accused of watching the secret jury deliberations through the judge's courtroom video camera. The jury members were here inside the courtroom instead of the jury room because of COVID distancing requirements. We have confirmed it. Our office has confirmed it through, you know, our assistant district attorneys who were present while it was happening. Hernandez says that not only was her prosecution team secretly watching the jury members deliberate, but so were the defense attorneys. Broadcasting of visual jury deliberations is just a violation of the most fundamental aspect of our criminal judicial system, which requires secrecy. The jury's supposed to be protected. We tried multiple times to speak with Judge Klein about this case, and so far, it's been a no-go. Monday morning, the district attorney's office began to file a number of motions for continuance and motions for the judge to recuse herself from the punishment phase of the Pata trial, which was supposed to happen today. Now, while the judge would not speak with us about this issue, she did have something to say this morning in court about the matter. Unfortunately, some technical issues um, have come up where I'm going to reset this case to this Wednesday. Defense attorneys responded to the state's motion for recusal by claiming that the district attorney's office knew about the camera footage for six days and never said anything about it until Monday morning. They also stated that they know of no one who violated the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure in regards to any jury violations. Now, according to court records, Judge Klein has recused herself from the punishment phase and a new judge will be assigned to the Pata case. Angelica Hernandez says she's contacted the State Bar of Texas Ethics Division about the jury spying claims as well as the Judicial Commission. The Nueces County Sheriff's Department has also been asked to investigate for possible criminal charges to be filed. Now we did speak with a number of attorneys from around the area who were shocked about the claim that the jury was being spied on during its very own deliberations. Of course, we will continue to follow this story as more information is sure to be revealed in the coming days. Leslie, Rudy. All right, thank you, Michael, for that. I mean,